Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I am Peggy Berry Bart, and I am pleased to have two guests with me today, um, Micah and Lillian Wisner. And they are here from the Cub Scouts and we are going to hear a wonderful uh, explanation of the Cub Scouts and the uh, story behind their journey into the Cub Scouts. So Micah, we're going to start with you. I understand you were a Cub Scout, Eagle Scout, the whole nine yards. I was, yes, uh, in Milford, Michigan. Yep. Wonderful. And then you got married and had children and said, I want my children to have this experience. That is correct, yes. To have the same experience that I did because you know, the scouting program really gives you an opportunity to grow and try a lot of different things that you wouldn't normally have tried. This is true. Do you know most of the presidents were Eagle Scouts? A lot of them were. Yes, they were. Yes. And Miss Lillian, did your dad one day say, hey, we're going to a Cub Scout meeting? Yes, yes he did. <laughs> They figured since my brother was going to do it, why not do it anyway? And they just let the girls in when we started it. So Finally, right? Yes. It's about time. Oh, I didn't say that, did I? Okay. It was, so, it was about time. Obviously, you had a history. So just maybe tell me three things that are so important in scouting besides you could be president. Um, what you learned as a young person. Well, you, you know, what you learn as a young person is you, you learn the things like the scout oath and law. And the 12 points of the Scout Law are things that go on with you uh, throughout life. I, I spent a week actually at a seminar this, this uh, past week where we talked about what were good attributes in a team member. And almost every attribute I could trace right back to the Scout Law. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and? Reverend. There you go. So it, it, it's one of those things that sticks with you and, and you can see how applicable it is in life to be a, a, a good citizen. Wonderful. Do you have those 12 memorized? Yes. Okay, go. Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. That is awesome. So uh, I know that there's so many activities that you do. I can see patches on you. Yep. It looks like you went canoeing or No, this is sunrise. just like the like one patch. Like we have a lot more at home. Like at first when you go through kindergarten to Weeblow, no, not Weeblow, Bears. Kindergarten to bear, you get belt loops, but now you're getting like pins that go. Oh, on very this. nice. Okay, so of all the things you've done with the Cub Scouts, what has been your absolute favorite thing? When I was a bear, we did Blue the Bear, Blue the Bear, right? Blue the Builder. Blue the Builder. And you got to choose anything you wanted to build. Someone built like a bat house or a habitat or something, because there was like too many bats there. I chose a fairy house because I've always wanted fairies. Excellent. So we cut the wood. And the trick is you cannot use any electrical tools. Oh, it's all gotta be done by hand. So you have to use like the old hand drills and like all that stuff, like sandpaper. Saws, the hand saws. I, I hand those hand drills. Things. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you have have to, to paint it by hand. and Right, no spray cans. Nope. That is awesome. I like Do you it. still have your, do you have a picture? Did you bring a picture? Oh, yes. Yes, we did. Okay. They'll show it while we're talking. <laughs> How about that? Never I can't good. wait. What color is it? Um, it is a brown house. And the day I put it out, I got a fairy. That like an hour awesome. or two later. Later, I checked. Okay. I got a fairy. I, I'm, uh, well, I won't tell you that I'm the fairy godmother of Lake Orient, but everybody here knows that. <laughs> you all do. <laughs> yes. And you are wearing the colors of a fairy godmother. Yes, I am. Yes. I became the fairy godmother uh, in 2012, so it's perfectly appropriate. Your favorite project was a fairy house. I'm and sure your dad was fairies thrilled. visited mm -hmm. it. Yes. Okay. When I lost it. So tell me, other than getting to spend time with your amazing daughter, which she already is amazing to me, uh, what is your favorite part of this? Again, it's it's really the um, the opportunity to help them grow and and do different events and things, help them find something that maybe they have a passion for, um, and, and really get them out from behind the electronics and the the screens, and get them out into nature, right? Getting them on hikes, um, getting them you know learning the the basic skills of not tying, right? So I, I do things all the time and tie knots. Are like, where'd you learn that? I'm like scouts. I keep trying to teach oh. these things to you guys. <laughs> someday you'll you'll remember them. Uh, but it, it's really understanding some of those life skills that, that sometimes get lost by the wayside uh, on top of academics. And really the, the unplugging and getting them out in nature, letting them run free and wild and explore is just, just wonderful. Cool. So we, we talked a tiny bit before about sewing. So I bet you know how to hand sew, don't you? 
like yes. needle and thread. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I also know how to use the sewing machine. Yes, yep. do you know how many people don't know how to do that anymore? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm very busy. Because it's a, it is a life skill you need forever. Yes. Yes. And if you had to be lost in the woods, you could make a canopy. You know, there's if you a have million. like a needle, thread. You just make one up. And fabric. Yeah, could be leaves. I have an, I even have a project that I'm gonna make for my teacher that includes sewing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I have a question. Have you had to go camping? Yes. Okay. So my idea of camping is the lobby of a Holiday Inn or a Marriott. No. Because I've only gone camping twice in my life. It was very disastrous. <laughs> So tell me about your very first camping trip with your dad. And my mom and my brother. Okay, everybody. So that's the nice thing is that because it's a family group, it's it's both the, the boys and the girls, and it's as a family. So we went camping as a family, all four of us, boys in one tent, girls in another tent. So and is this all different families. than the original Cub Scouts, the so, family? So this is now a, a, what they're calling a, a family pack. They have what, what's called family packs now, which are both boys and girls, right? So it used to be Boy Scouts, now it's Scouts BSA. Wow. And it is the same boy scout program that you had back growing up right with the different ranks and badges but now they've uh, they're permitting girls to come in at the same time and it just makes it so nice because you can do things together as a family we're already torn in so many different directions with different sports different other events you know our attention is constantly pulled apart and with the family pack we found for us it was great because now it was one night a week we all went to the same place we may have done some slightly different things but we were all learning at our own levels right i love this so when did the scouts change to the family idea about four or five years ago when um, i joined they, in kindergarten they changed and yeah we're starting to allow girls in right around the time she was in kindergarten and and that was right when we were okay just now pardon my ignorance but this is completely different than the brownies so it's different than Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts is still there. Girl Scouts are still Girl Scouts, and they do their Girl Scout, yep. uh, Girl Scout items. We this is just now more of a, a family event to to get together, and again, it's just to really help out um, the families. Like I said, I, I love we love it because again, it's one night a week devoted for Scouts for I all of us. I love that, so. and you're and a family activity, and then you camp together, and yes. well, then it wasn't too bad. Yes, exactly. Yeah, what happens when the air mattress runs out of air? Oh, we sleep on the ground actually. In sleeping oh. bags. Yeah, see, nope. Lobby, hotel. That's my thing. <laughs> I love we it. We don't have air mattresses. This is really cool. I'm glad that um, they have the family thing now. It maybe took a little long to get there, but because only five years is not very long ago. Well, it, it's not very long ago, and, and not every pack yeah. does that currently. There's still some packs that are still boy exclusive. And we do still try and do things where we have just the girls doing things and just the boys because there are times when, when the girls say, okay, I'm done with the icky boys for a little bit. We need some girl time um, and, yeah. and do some things off to their own. Yes. Um, but for the most part, again, it's, it's really about having one event for the night, right? It's not, okay, on Monday I gotta go here for, for one scout group, on Tuesday I gotta go to another group, plus then I got baseball, I got soccer, I got all these other different things. It's it's one night, okay? We Very know cool. for our pack, we meet every Thursday night, right? So every Thursday night at St. Joe's Church, we're there 6.30 doing something, right? Whether it be for her rank specifically or maybe we're helping one of the other groups out, right? So we were helping out the Tigers this last week and the Bears uh, learn the, the different the scout oath and law, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing different games with them and helping them earn their belt loops yep. that Lily talked about. So, so the that, scout oath is, mm -hmm. can you do it together? On, On my honor, honor I, will I will do, do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, law to, to help other people at all times and keep myself physically strong, strong mentally awake, and morally straight. That is beautiful. I've not heard that before. That's beautiful. Does that go all through all the scouts? It does. Yes. Yes. It does. So once she's learned it now, so when uh, she moves on from a pack to a troop, because they have girl troops now uh, in the scouts program, she will. It'll be the exact same thing. It's, Can we it's teach the, the whole world this? That please? would be wonderful. I, I am all for it. What do you think, it. Lillian? Do we need the whole world to know this? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. I think so too. Let's start a movement. <laughs> I mean, if girls are allowed now, you know. I hate to say this, but telephone, telegraph, tell a woman. So what's, what's interesting is actually the Girl Scout Oath is actually very similar. I don't okay. know it, but I was actually in some training two weeks ago where there was somebody, uh, a young lady who was a former Girl Scout that was saying it's a little different. There's two lines flip-flopped and, and it confuses okay. her occasionally. So and it does happen. I'm assuming you, you eat Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 we do. But you don't have to sell them. Nope. 
No, we just get to eat them. We That's do popcorn. my favorite It's thing. only once a year there's like a online thing. Actually, wait, it's only here, right? I don't know. I don't know. So and what was your like favorite activity stuff. since that Lillian told me about hers? <laughs> I've had I've had really lots of favorite activities. You know, what what I've really enjoyed though is we've done a lot of things as a family that we've never that we would never have really thought of doing before. Um, you know, going out on a hike, going out stargazing one night. So we kept them up late one night and we went out stargazing for an fun. evening in order to do a belt loop with them, yeah, right? Because we got them belt loop. It's it's hey, we got some free time. Let's go and look at well, what can we do that'll get us a belt loop that we can work into things as a family? And again, so stargazing was a great example. We would did you never go somewhere kept far away so you could see the stars. Oh, we did. We went into uh, one of the dark parks. Yes. And, and so you could really get a good view. Now we didn't have any cool telescope. We we had a, a a very small telescope at the time, uh, and we were able to take a good look at the moon. Um, but there was. We could see like the craters. It was really cool. It, it was know. a pretty it neat deal. But it really it was cool. something that we wouldn't have normally have done without scouting, saying, hey. We'll get you a, a, a belt loop. We'll see if your scout is interested in something, and and now it's like, oh, let's go do that. Let's go do this other these other things. The the we talked a little bit about skydiving uh, in a little bit before. We did iFly with the scouts. That's part of their science program. You go for a day, and they teach you all about the science uh, of um, um, velocity and and skydiving, skydiving basically. And then you get to go into the actual simulator and and experience it. Right. Yes. There's so hand signals that you have to learn and that stuff. He was not there, so. Yes. She's the expert. The most important part is pulling the chute. When it's <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, we had like a director right next to us, so we went like up and down and yep. they sort of like directed us. Yes. So I know what this feels like. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. I have another question. On behalf of all the single parents out there, is there space for, in the family units, is there space for a single parent to bring their child? Oh, of course. Children? Yes. Okay, Very much. Good. Very much good. so. You there know. is room for a lot of people. There that is excellent. So how big is your particular group? Our pack, group pack? Uh, sits at about uh, 25 different scouts. Okay. Um, it kind of ebbs and flows depending on the sports season, right? Yes. So again, we meet on Thursday nights, and sometimes Thursday nights hits cross country or cycling or something else, and, and other times you're able to do it. So it, it, you, you kind of see the ebbs and flows of, of, uh, of the year, throughout the year. But again, it's, it makes it the stability for the scouts. They know Thursday night is scouts. It's okay. not a whole bunch of different So do you nights. meet in a big room, like a we classroom? We do. We actually meet in uh, Myrick Hall down in St. Joseph's very, Church. It's huge. Uh, it's a very big hall. Uh, we've so also got like the youth group tables. room and the art room. And so we meet, uh, it's about three weeks a month, we meet as what's well, called DENS, which is in your individual grade groups. Okay. And then once a month we meet as a pack, and that's everybody together. And that's when we do all of our awards and celebrations, right? So Wonderful. actually this week we've got a, our first pack awards meeting, ceremony. and Father will be coming and awarding. Um, we've got some scouts that have earned their religious emblem, which is the, the purple knots that you've got here that you see. She's got hers uh, on hers as well. So she gets a little medal that she'll be earning um, for her for doing different religious studies. Okay. Um, Father will be coming and awarding those, and then we'll also be awarding them anything they've earned this year. So belt loops that we've earned since the uh, beginning of September that we've worked on with them, um, and, and any other you know activities. So there's not patches. patches anymore. It's belt loops. So it's mainly belt loops, but you still get patches for some of the science things like okay. novas. Um, you still get patches for events, uh, going to different things. We had a. I, I wish I'd have I brought it. We went to the. Uh, the baseball, the minor league baseball team in uh, Troy, the USPBL? Yeah, I think so. We saw the Utica Unicorns and the what? It the was Utica Unicorns against somebody else. But and it was the Beavers, I think. That's I don't right. know. It was the, oh, the this Beavers. is different than Jimmy John's. At Jimmy John's Field. No, no. Jones? It was at Jimmy oh, yeah. John's Field. I've been there. It's awesome. It was a scout night. And we went for scout night, and there were hundreds of scouts there. It's and then afterwards, down. they got to run the bases. And then you could actually camp out on the field too afterwards. Oh, how which fun! Which is which is just a, a wonderful thing. It was a little hot for us, and and after running the bases and staying up real late, we we kind of passed. But and we also had friends with us, so it was a it was a good That's time. That's a really cool place. Yes. How fun is that? You know, so again, you get to do all these different neat things that you wouldn't normally. Okay, so think we're going to assume there's like twenty five people out there going. I think I want to be a scout. I do have a question. What are you? Will you be eligible to be an Eagle Scout? when you are in like high school? Yes, yes I will. You will. Right? Yes, correct. So under the new program again, you've got, you've got the Boy Scouts now uh, and they have what they're calling boy troops and then there are girl troops that are now forming. There are enough girls to come along. And I, I believe we're actually having our first girl Eagle Scout in the area that's going to um, be finally awarded here very shortly in the next couple terrific. of days. 
I am really so, happy to hear that. Yep. Awesome. At St. Joseph's, we are trying to make a girls troop. So next year, I'm going to try and get my AOL in like a month or two. So Lily, I want you to look right at the camera. Will you tell people what is going on at Camp Agawam, right off Clarkson Road, on October 23rd? Look right there and invite them. Um, on October 23rd, we are having a scout day from 1 to 5. Come on out. Come on out and have a good time with us. <laughs> Always can use more friends to come out, right? So yep. actually, how would someone find you? So the, the best way is to go to uh, beascout.org. Because, um, you know, I believe in the program. We are just one pack of many in the area. So okay. Thursday nights don't work. There are packs that meet Monday nights, Tuesday nights, and they're all very close by, right? We, we happen to go, so Lily goes to Oxford Elementary, yep. but we go to St. Joseph's Church. We're members of the church, and they have a, a troop there, so, or a pack there. So we went, we chose to go there. Um, but many of the schools around here have packs. I'm a very big believer if our pack and Thursday night doesn't work, there are other packs. If you go to beascout.org, you can look up the information. You can put in where you're located. They'll identify packs around the area, and you can call all of us and, and reach out. So I've been at Lake Orion Rotarian since they started, and I'm not going to tell you what year it was, but it's been a long time. Um, and we went to Camp Agawam when it was still part of the Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. And we sat at the pavilion. We had a meeting there one day. And we all uh, met at the camp. And there's a beautiful covered pavilion. And I just want to say the Orient Township took over the yeah. ownership. And it is such a beautiful place now. They, they've done an amazing job it ma is maintaining that facility. It is absolutely gorgeous. I, I, we absolutely love going there. We hike there all the time as a pack. So if We're you haven't ever been to Camp Agawam, October 23rd would be a great day to go mm -hmm. and see everything. There'll be it lots of scouts. It is a beautiful place. Beautiful There's a hiking. little tiny beach there that not too many people know about. It's my, fa it's my favorite little quiet beach. I'm a big fan of the uh, the church area. Dad, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah, I know. Beautiful. I was just at a wedding there recently. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The whole place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was a different beach, Lily, that you're thinking of. Yeah, I know. It's my beach. Yeah, that was a different beach. Yeah, that is an absolute beautiful place. So. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Hmm. Okay, well, it has I absolutely been wonderful to meet both of you and to talk about yep. the family cub packs. Mm -hmm. I love this. All right, so Micah and Lily, you've been awesome, and we are going to wrap it up for tonight. Thank you so much, and um, please, one more time, it is www.beascout.org. You can find this information about being um, in a family pack. And um, I can't imagine that you wouldn't have a great time with both of these people. So thank you.